Buy an unlocked Intel 4th Gen Core i7 or Core i5 processor and get a free copy of Rome 2 Total War. Click now to learn more. All right, so there's not much innovation left in the whole pre-filled liquid coolers thing. Basically, you're gonna have to have a CPU block, a pump, a radiator, tubing, and coolant inside. That's okay, I guess you'll also need some fans on it to actually take the heat away. But that didn't stop Antec from trying here, guys. Okay, so this, my friends, is the Cooler H2O 1250, a truly unique, if nothing else, all-in-one liquid cooling unit. So unlike many of the products on the market, this is not a Coolit or an Asetek rebrand. This is an Antec design that is very different from some of the other stuff that we've seen on the market. That much will be apparent just looking at the thing. So let's start with the features that really stand out. So number one is that it uses a dual radiator. So not all liquid coolers out there use a dual rad. Most of them still use single 120 or at the very most a single 140 millimeter. It's a standard thick radiator with a fairly high fin density. So it is definitely going to perform optimally in a push-pull style configuration, which is why Antec actually shipped the unit with not only the fans that are pre-installed, but also a couple of extras. Although we will be testing in our standard configuration which is two fans, not push-pull, so there you go, guys. It also has integrated fans, so integrated fans and shrouds. These are in a push configuration by default, and because of the bulk of the tubing and pumps on the one side of the fan here, it does only go in one way, so compatibility may be a little bit more of a challenge with this one than with other ones, versus having one larger tank at one side and then a smaller tank at the other side. It has two medium-sized tanks at each side to accommodate the extra tubing. Tubing. All right, so the next thing, I actually mentioned this briefly already, is the dual pump design. So it has two pumps built in, one on each of the fan hubs here. This again adds bulk, but it also adds potentially performance, but more importantly, redundancy. If one of these pumps were to fail, the other one would be able to keep operating the unit regardless. This is one of the things that I dislike about all-in-one liquid cooling units, and that is that they add more points of failure. With a heat sink, you got a fan on it, there's one point of failure. With an all-in-one liquid cooling unit, you've got usually one fan and one pump, which is two points of failure, so two ways for the unit to die. It also has what they're calling a sophisticated micro-channel cold plate design. I don't know why they insist on calling them cold plates. Come on! The entire water cooling community calls them water blocks. Why can't we just call them that anyway? So the water block has a pre-applied thermal compound on it and hooks into your system in pretty much the manner that we've come to expect from any of these pre-filled liquid cooling units that does have uh, built-in control. So you've actually got, oh my goodness, look at all the wires. Okay, here we go. And they're all black, so you should be able to hide them relatively easily. So we have power, so you can go ahead and plug that into your CPU fan header. Then we have USB, so you're actually going to use Antec's grid software in order to configure things like the uh, customizable RGB LED on the top, as well as things like uh, pump speed and fan speed. You can monitor your coolant temperatures and all that good stuff. And then, finally, also coming out of the unit here, we have two wires that head into Y splitters, so we can power the two fans that are built into the unit, and then two additional fans directly off of the pump right here. So that's pretty much the summary. I guess all that's left to it, oh yeah, it has a coolant inside that's water-based with glycol, so pretty pretty typical stuff, although it's a proprietary blend or something like that. So all that's really left now is how does the thing perform? Well, I guess we'll find out. Is it worth the compatibility disadvantages and the customizability disadvantages of not being able to swap in your own fans in order to have that redundancy and potentially better performance. I'll leave that to Luke to determine for you guys. On our standard test bench, I'm running a 3930K at 4.0 gigahertz with a voltage of 1.3, and that processor is crunching numbers in Prime 95. I also have an NVIDIA GTX 580 running combustor and overclocked a little bit just to add some more heat to the system. For installation problems we didn't actually have any unless we wanted to put more fans on top of the radiator in which it would not have worked in our case configuration at all. If you're looking to buy this product just make sure that your case and motherboard combination is going to be compatible with the configuration you're going to want this cooler in because you might have trouble with how your case has the radiator aligned and how your uh, heat sinks on your motherboard stand out. I was informed that I couldn't swap out the stock fans but I wanted to try anyways just because I love you guys and I got that off but I found that once the fan was off 
I couldn't actually put a new fan on realistically because the power for the pumps was ran through the fans. So I didn't bother and we ran with the stock fans. And we ran the stock fans at 1100 RPM just like we normally do our Noctua fans. So there is a little bit of a variable here as all the other coolers are tested with Noctua and FF12s and these ones are not, but it's as close as we could get it. In a market awash with lookalikes, the cooler 1250 didn't do quite as well as its competition, not being other 2 by 120 all-in-one liquid coolers, but it's an interesting, innovative cooler, and I'm excited to see where they go with it. If you like this style of cooler, or if you don't like this style of cooler, be sure to comment below, and please express your most profound feelings with the like and dislike button, and as always, also, please subscribe.